EcoBoost engine 44 AA, pulled from the Cleveland production line, stressed to the max for an equivalent of 150,000 miles, then sent to Kansas City to get installed in the F-150. Now, we've driven the same engine another 1,900 miles over the Rocky Mountains to the forest of the Pacific Northwest. This is Nygaard Logging. Their job is to get the logs from the mountain to the mill. For that, they need a skitter. It's heavy machinery. Very big, very powerful. So we got an F-150 pickup. It's gonna try to take place of a skitter today. We got 22 logs, 110,000 pounds in total. You don't have a wheel on it, you're just picking it up and trying to get the end off the ground and just dragging it. So this is an engine that's been through a lifetime of work already, and now we've brought it out here. These guys are probably used to using big V8s and Super Duties. I think they're gonna be shocked at how this, this vehicle pulls. You guys, we'll do it, but I think you guys are crazy. <laughs> Over and over, the EcoBoost engine takes off like a shot with its massive low-end torque, dragging over three tons of dead weight up a 10% grade. The three tons doesn't sound like a lot of weight. Consider this, some of these logs outweigh the truck by 1,200 pounds. The EcoBoost engine produces 420 foot-pounds of torque nearly all across its RPM band. Compare that torque curve to Chevy, Dodge, and Toyota V8s, they're not even close. I hear him talking about low-end torque and the type of motor this F-150 has in it, and I'm pretty impressed. It's got all of our 22 logs up the hill, and uh, they're ready to be loaded out for the mill. Hasn't been one log that that truck has mill I pull up the hill. 55 tons of timber is loaded onto the hauler and sent off to the mill. For our friends at Nygaard, they can call it a day, but as for the engine, this was just a warm-up. It's back on the road for a 3,300-mile trip to Miami, and not for a walk on the beach.